What's going on guys? So today we're going to be covering a little topic that a lot of people have been uh, kind of worried about on Twitch. Um, and I was just actually introduced to this uh, this past weekend when my daughter turned old enough to actually be able to stream for her birthday, her 13 year old birthday. She was like, Dad, I want to be a streamer um, for Christmas and my birthday. Can you go ahead and buy me everything I need to start streaming? So I was like, yeah, man, I'll go ahead and buy you everything, baby. Um, so then I ended up surprising her and I had everything ready and bought for her for her birthday instead of waiting until Christmas just because I think it'd be teasing her if she waited that long. So whatever. So I got introduced to these raiders. Okay. So this is just, uh, let me say a disclaimer first. There is no real way you can stop raids from happening. The only thing you can do is prevent them from having any fun in your stream. So therefore when they come bring a raid in, they will leave. Okay. Um, so, like I said, there's no real way to stop a raid, but there's a way to prevent um, them from having any fun, because that's all they're trying to do. They're just trying to have a little fun, trying to mess with you. Um, I mean, I've been streaming for over a year now, and I've never been raided, and all of a sudden my kid streams Roblox, and bam, she get hit. Like, these guys are just preying on these little kids, and, you know, it's kind of retarded. You know, a lot of them are grown men, and they're sitting here messing with little kids and trying to get them to delete their System32 files and this and that. So, you know, um, and then two of the people I found that was doing it is 4chan. Um, well, this is one of them. If you guys don't know about this community, this community is as big as, like, let's say Anonymous. Uh, 4chan is responsible for a lot of jokes over the years. Um, for one of them is being having Oprah Winfrey, even though this wasn't confirmed. Say some stuff on the air. They trolled her over the, you know, live television. Um, they've done a lot of other things to some stars, some contests. They make people, if there's a contest, they want someone to win, they're going to make them win. Okay, so 4chan, they're an elite community. So, you know, don't really want to mess with them, piss them off. Just leave them alone. Just make sure they don't have any fun. Another one was, uh, if you actually type in Twitch Raiders, you're going to see these people right there. Um, they call themselves the Booty Raiders. The Booty. Booty Booty Raiders. So, they're another group that's going around and just messing with kids. Um, so those are two little groups right now that's doing everything. So what I'm going to show you is just ways to prevent them from having any fun in your rooms. So the, for the first part, let me show you my moderators. I am using, a lot of people have, uh, they're like, hey, pick Moobot or hey, pick Nightbot. I pick both bots, okay? I want the bots to double team, have some double team action. A lot of people say Nightbot is the best bot for your room, but I actually like Moobot because Nightbot, you can only get a certain amount of uh, spam words put in before you got to pay something. Moobot's cool because Moobot actually uses the Twitch settings to uh, do everything, So, um, which I'll get to in a minute. I mean, I really like Moobot, but a lot of people like Nightbot. But hey, I was running them both this weekend, two days ago, matter of fact, when my daughter was streaming. And they were kicking ass, okay? So that's cool. So let me go ahead and exit that one. You see right here in my room, I didn't have any of this stuff set up in my room um, until just now. So uh, I did all this stuff to my kid's room. I've been testing it. The last successful raid they tried to do was two days ago to her and they came in they called it a raid they're like okay our raid's leaving now and i'm like that was your raid that was it come on guys you can do better than that and just because the, it wasn't really anything because my bots were so strict that they're just restricting everything because i have a lot of uh, spam keywords uh, impl implemented to make it where they can't have any fun in the room so how do you make it where the raiders can't have much fun in your room so let's get started so the first thing you want to do is slow mo okay if you guys don't know what slow-mo is, it's going to slow your room down. All right, so let's go to slow-mo. Sorry about that. My headphones died. Um, let's go over here to Twitch commands. So right here you see slow, all right? So usage slash slow. So if you actually go back to your room and you type backslash slow and then you type like a five and hit enter. See this? Your room is now in slow mode. You can only send messages every five seconds. You can also do 10 seconds. So basically, this is going to keep the spam filter down from them, like, you know, typing really freaking fast. This will make it where it's going to just hurt them. You know, it's going to make it where they don't have any fun. The other one that I was checking out is this right here, this bot, R9K Beta. So I'm just going to copy that one. And all these will be down in my description if you guys need to refer down to that. So if you type that in, hit enter. See, this room is already in. I was just messing with this last night, so this is already in that room. So, this is a spam filter. Let me go actually show this to you. Um, all right, guys, and see, here's a note right here. It's just letting you know about what it's about. It's just basically telling you it just holds down the spam. All right, got it? Get it good, good. You can also do a lot of other things. 
uh, right here, host. This is a real unique one. This isn't for the Raiders. This is just so I can show people. Um, if you type sla backslash host and then put the channel name in, like Squishy X Banana, my channel, you'll actually host that person. So therefore, uh, you know, if they're got gameplay going and you don't, but you want to entertain your viewers, go ahead and host a friend's channel. That way, you know, your viewers have something to watch. You know, so that's really cool. So I just want to show you that real quick. All right, so that's slow mo, and that's another little bot that uh, another little feature that Twitch implemented. Okay, so that's going into your channel. Okay, so that's two methods. So then the last method we have here is this right here, a channel video. Okay, so you go to your settings, hit channel and video. I had to skip a little part because I have my e personal email there. Um, if you go down here to ban words, these are all the ban words that I have implemented on my channel that I've watched Raiders use. And basically, basically what I do is I just sit in the channel, watch the Raiders, watch what kind of words they put in. As they put the word in, I copy and paste it over in the banned words. The good thing about the banned words section is Moobot actually looks at this list and they'll go ahead and start implementing it. All right? So that's that's cool. So this is everything you see 4chan, channel 7, uh, hiss if you're coming in if you're seeing them saying hiss they're probably 4chan people. And then it just has all kinds of different child stuff that people was putting perverted and everything like that. Also a good thing to put is your child's uh, or your your screen in-game screen name. It, you know, just put it down there in the banned word list. That way if anyone gets it, they want to be sneaky and put it in the room so everyone else can spam you inside the game. It, your bots will automatically block them and silence them. Now, going on silence them. Let's go over here to Moobot. Now you see all this, my Moobot features. See, I haven't really messed with this. I messed with my daughters. But here's like banned words. So you go to settings right here and you see the warning duration, 10 seconds, timeout duration, 600 seconds. So instead of doing that, put, the, put it like 120 as the warning duration. Okay? So that way, like as soon as they say a banned word, instead of just getting like, hey, don't do that, and then they all of a sudden they can type again, make it where it fucking it hurts them. Like, like, holy crap, now we got to wait. We're going to get timed out for this long. So you want to make them 120 seconds, you know, 240. Make it a good amount. I mean, it sucks for your regular viewers that you got to do this, you know, but hey, who cares? You know, you're trying to keep the Raiders down. So this is what I was talking about, like timing people out. You, you Like I said, you just don't want to make it fun for the Raiders at all. You don't want to make it fun. So, I mean, they're an elite group of people um, right up there held underneath Anonymous. I think Anonymous is the best, you know, hacker group out there, whatnot, whatnot, which they've already proved their uh, sincerity. Uh, so, yeah. But, uh, so you just basically want to make it where they, just, they don't have any fun. And they are going to go through the ban words list, like if they say Chan 4, it's going to time them out for 120 seconds. Okay, so they can't type again for two minutes. Okay, so if you get them all going, da 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 da, you know, typing 4chan, 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 now you done hit their whole raid group, and none of them can type for freaking two minutes, and now they're gonna be like, oh no no no, go back and say this. So you just watch and keep an eye on exactly what they say. Yeah, so that's and that's what you gotta do for all of your uh, your spam filters. You know, just turn them all on, all of them, your links, Twitch names, spamming, long messages. You turn them all on, then you go to your settings in Moobot, and you just you know make all the warnings freaking long that way when the freaking raid groups come in instead of getting a slap on the wrist they're actually going to get hit and you know like i said you're just trying to make enough fun for them that's all you want to do and i proved that it worked this last raid they hit me with, or hit my daughter with because they didn't they couldn't say anything they they're just what the heck we can't even do this or what the heck we can't even do that you know they just couldn't do anything so they eventually just left actually some of them stayed in there and they're actually cool people um some of them were not all raids are bad. Just keep that in mind. Not all raids are bad. Uh, some raids are good. Some raids are bad. Most of them are bad, but there's some good ones out there. Okay. I'll just give them that. So the next thing that you want to remember about these raids. So that's all your channel settings and everything like that. The next thing you want to remember is do not give out your Skype name. Because your Skype name, when you give that out, they can reverse track that and they can get your IP address. Then they can DOS attack your IP address and kick you offline. You know, so haha, that's supposed to be real funny. So what you can do is you can basically, if you have a Skype account and it's the same as your name on here, like my Skype name is Squishy X Banana. They've already found that out. I don't care if anyone knows it. So what I did is they actually did it on me this time and found out about it. They did it to me, me and my daughter, and because I was moderating her room. They kicked us offline after they found out I was her dad and they knew I was in the same household. They kicked us offline. They kept us off for hours at a time. It was, it was horrible. Um, so what I did the next day just to test it is I actually downloaded the app, Skype app on my phone. I logged into Skype on my phone. So then when they came back again and they did come back, 
they asked me for my Skype name. They're like, oh, we got it, we got it. And they started freaking saying, oh, how, how? You know, like, how's that feel? How's that feel? And I'm like, oh, it feels kind of nice. Y'all, y'all, y'all like hitting my cell phone company? You know, because the last IP address I was tracked on Skype was with my uh, T-Mobile. So therefore, they couldn't do anything about it. So, you know, I'm going to have to wrap this up because I am on lunch. I got two, three minutes to get out to my work van. Um, let's see, lesson learned today. Use this slow mode. Use the R9K um, feature in Twitch. Use the Nightbot. Use Moobot. Go through, set all the spam filters up. Put all the warning levels high. Um, and then don't give out your Skype name. And don't freaking give out, don't go and listen to them and delete your System32 file. Do not delete your System32 file. That is just stupid. Don't do that, kids <laughs> and adults. Don't freaking do that. Um, another thing, if you guys want my, uh, where to go, where to go, where to go. If you guys want my banned words list, I'll be having them in a text file um, just for you guys. So that way you can go through there and just add them right in there. And on this, make sure on your banned words list, you actually want it one word per line, okay? So I'll be giving that out. That link is in the description also. So you can take that and you can add that to your Twitch account. So that way everything would be good. You also want to make sure right here where it says opt out of globally, blah, blah. You want to make sure it says require a verified email, okay? And you want to turn on your mature content. You want to check that one. What that will do is basically keep the bots down a little bit because it's supposed to make it where whenever someone joins your channel, they uh, will have to verify their age. Well, a bot can't verify its age, okay? So therefore, you're going to try to keep the bots down a little bit too, all right? If you guys have any comments, any concerns, you guys put it down in there. Remember, 4chan and all them other groups, they are big social networks, so be careful what you say to them. Be careful what information you give to them. All right, this is Squishy. This is me signing out.